This magical place is the Gary Oak Meadow, part of the Cowich and Gary Oak Preserve. Most of the year, this place is out of bounds to many of us, but in the springtime, lots of people are invited, especially if you'd like to volunteer and help maintain this very precious place. But wildlife photographers will come out, and scientists do a lot of their work here. It's a rare and very special and endangered ecosystem. Some of the wildflowers that you can see here include shooting stars and small flowered woodland star, some camas here, and some blooming camas, which was one of the main um, food sources for Coast Salish and other First Nations. The root bulb is um, edible when cooked, and some spring gold and fawn lilies in the distance. The Nature Conservancy purchased the Cowich and Gary Oak Preserve in 1999. The 20 hectares had been tended by the Elkington family since the mid-1800s. So there are hundreds and hundreds of different species that live here in this Gary Oak ecosystem. There's over 800 species of insect, over 100 species of birds, and dozens of mammals and reptiles, and over 100 species at risk that live here. It's actually got more plant diversity than any other terrestrial coastal ecosystem in the province. Bluebirds have been locally extinct for over 20 years in this area and so now a few years later we have over 21 bluebirds that have returned so far this year already and we have seven breeding pairs a couple of which are right here on the site. It's the bluebirds that attracted wildlife photographer Bill Pennell. It's just a, a SLR a Nikon D800 and a 500 millimeter lens. I'm hoping to photograph bluebirds. I've photographed some before. It's about that time of year, so I'm just hoping to get a lucky picture of a bluebird sitting maybe over there on some of that moss. You can come here many times and not get a picture. The bluebird population is now slowly growing. 27 or something is seen in the valley so far and, and uh, nesting pairs right here and elsewhere. So yeah, it's pretty neat, pretty exciting. Today, seven to nine-year-olds from the cedar boughs are assisting with native planting. This informal group comes together to build friendship, experience nature, and be of service to their community. That means that the plant only lives one year. Today's been a great education so far about insects, habitat, and enjoying the Quamachin Lake area. about the small woodland star flowers and about the shooting star flowers. It's important for the bees, I think. Anyone can participate in hands-on conservation efforts, especially in the springtime. Volunteers work here all the time. Every Wednesday morning we have volunteers coming and we've been working hard since purchasing the property to remove invasive plants and, and increase the habitat value and everyone has been collecting seeds to help give them a better start in the nursery. And so today we've got people coming to help plant out the seeds that we've nurtured in the nursery to increase the population um, of the plants that we have here and so that it remains healthy and viable. When I first started working here just four years ago actually, there was English hawthorn up to my shoulders and we would be pulling it out and the roots are, you know, the size of your thighs. You can see now that we can do a few weeks of targeted invasive removal and we've moved on from invasives to really protecting the rare plants that are here and increasing their habitat. I'm Daphne Good for Go Island. Don't miss the In Bloom Festival May 9th at the Cowichan Gary Oak Preserve with nature walks, photographer tips, face painting, and hay rides. <laughs>